tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm your host, JC. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of the Daisy Powerline 408. This is a CO2 powered .177 caliber. It shoots both pellets and BBs. But before we get into that, uh, if you haven't already, please do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. The more subscribers, the better. If you'd like to be notified of any new videos we're coming out, please hit that little bell. It looks just like that down below. In addition to that, um, love your feedback. I try to get back to most of you. And thumbs up are always great. Also, don't forget, I set you guys up a deal with these uh, firearm guards. These um, capture moisture, so they go great in your gun safe. Um, like I said, I put them in my gym bag. That thing's hardly used, but they absorb moisture. And uh, the great thing about these, they pretty much last forever. Because when you reactivate them, if they've been out of moisture a lot, you just throw them back out in the sun for a couple hours, they dry out and they're ready to go. But I set you guys up with a special deal. I'll put a link below. But if you use the promo code AIRGUN, you get free shipping on these, and they're under 15 bucks. So, let's get back to our Powerline uh, 408. It's funny, is I never really knew much about this gun until a couple weeks ago. Um, someone had sent me a message and said, have you ever done the Daisy Powerline 408? I go, Daisy Powerline 408? I've never even heard of it. But it's a pretty interesting little pistol. Um, this thing has actually um, an eight-shot magazine. Tilts forward, this is how you load it. Check this out. And it's got a removable eight round magazine. This actually came with uh, three magazines. And they're uh, magnetic, so they take both pellets and BBs. So you can load both pellets and BBs in it. This has the three dot, I'll show you the three dot um, sights on it. The white in the front, two in the back, which is kind of cool. It's also got a little rail underneath, so if you wanted to have a, some type of accessory, whether it be a laser, you could put a, a, a little rail that comes over the top and you could put another sight on it because it doesn't have adjustable sights. So it's got a nice little um, accessory rail on it. The gun weighs uh, about 1.3 pounds. It actually feels pretty good. It's got uh, 7 and 3 quarter inch total distance here. And the barrel on this, it's got a steel rifle barrel and it's about 4.5 inches long. These things retail for around $60, $65. But here's the key on these things. They're claiming they shoot up to 485 feet per second. So I'm like, 485 feet per second, I gotta try this out. For, especially for 60 bucks. And you get three, I got three eight shot magazines. And these magazines load really easy with BBs. And I'm gonna show you. You can see how it's magnetic, it holds the BBs, but you just roll them on in there. I've never been a fan of uh, BBs in a rifled barrel, not because you're going to destroy the barrel, because you'd have to shoot thousands upon thousands upon thousands of steel BBs to screw up a rifled barrel. It's just the spinning on the rifling doesn't usually work well with a round ball. So your accuracy is usually less than a smooth bore. So I kind of stick with pellets. And the pellets, to load this thing, it's really, really easy. Just the little notch part here, the rotating. Um, catch that goes down and then you just drop the pellets in it's that simple just like that they go in just like that very 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 simple just like that as far as loading co2 this thing is really easy if you'll notice it's got just a little cover here you pop the cover off check this out you push this button down and you slide the handle open your co2 simply drops in like that I like to put the handle back on. I always do, just in case there's a leakage. It's just a little protection. But it's that simple. You just bring the arm up, close it, just like that. Boom, your CO2 is in there, you're ready to go. Very, very simple. But anyway, as I said, they're claiming 485 feet per second. We're going to find out how well this performs. So let's go out. We'll run it through our usual test. We'll come back and talk about it. All right, stay tuned for the next segment. All right, we're going to see how well our power line uh, 48 does over the chronograph. Um, first five rounds, I'm going to shoot pellets, and then we're going to switch out to BBs, and I'm going to do another five rounds on BBs. And uh, we'll just see how well it does over the crony. About a 78 degree day, perfect for CO2 weather. So let's just uh, see how we do. We'll do five shots over the crony, 
see how well this does. We'll just be shooting the 6.9 grain RWS um, Super Hollow Points. They're actually pretty accurate in this. 454. Four fifty one. Four forty four forty one. Okay, two more. Four forty eight. And four thirty two. Wow, pretty impressive. So that's a six point nine grain lead pellet. And there's your average velocity and even your foot pounds of energy. Okay, so hold on. Let's go ahead and try the BBs in this. Now, for the BBs, let's see how well we do. These are just going to be your basic um, zinc daisy BBs, the 5.1 grain. So let's how well, see how well we do with five shots with this one. All right. 482. 449. A little bit of a drop. 466. Two more. 454. And one more. 429. Wow, that was a quick drop. I would not shoot BBs in this. It's got a rifled barrel. It's like, what's the point? Most of the time, a rifled barrel will throw the BBs off. So, lead pellets are the way to go in this, that's for sure. So, you see what the average velocity is with the BBs. So, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's test our uh, Powerline 408 for some accuracy. We're going to use today, we're going to just use some Beeman, the 7.2 grain. These in the RWS Super Hollow Point work really well in it. So I'm going to give those a shot, literally. I want to thank Splatterburst for the targets once again, make it a lot more visible to see this stuff. Um, we're at a usual um, 32 feet, 10 meters. Go ahead and take a look real quick. And uh, so we're going to just shoot. This gun holds eight rounds. We're just going to put all eight rounds in it. I'm just going to aim at point of center. If it's off to the side, it's off to the side. We're just going to look for some grouping here. So point of center is where I'm aiming. All right. Well, I'd say that's pretty doggone good. See, I can even see that from here. That's a pretty good group. Um, that's eight rounds. So you see it for yourself. Let's move on to the next segment. Let's uh, test the trigger on our power line, our uh, DAISY 408. Uh, this is a very actually manageable, manageable trigger. And it is a double action type trigger. But let's see what type of weight we got. Here, let's see. Okay, that one was 8 pounds, 15 ounces. So, you're between an 8 and a 9 pound trigger, but I'm going to tell you, it's really controllable, and you know exactly when the release point is. So, not too shabby. Anyway, let's move on. Next segment. All right, let's do a little plinking here with our Powerline 408, see how well it does. Remember, i got to compensate a little bit, because if I remember correctly, this was shooting high and to the left, so i got to compensate a little bit for that. But uh, let's see how well we do. Go ahead and take a look. We're at about the same distance that we usually are. For our accuracy test, about 32 feet, and uh, let's see if we can knock some targets down. If you see, we got seven targets. I got eight pellets. So let's see if we can knock them all down. That gives me one miss. All right. That's one. That's two. God, this thing hits hard. And three. And four. Five. Six, and can we get the last one? Yes, we can. Gotta like that. This thing has some power. There is no question about that. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion. How well did we do? I'd say not too bad. But let's talk about the negatives first. Okay, the negatives, there's a lot of plastic on this gun, but it's actually pretty solid, and it's not overly light. There is metal where there needs to be metal, where you, the loading ramp here, this is all metal. I mean, so that, it feels pretty solid. It, and it actually, I'm talking about negatives, but this still feels really good in the hand. So I would say a lot of plastic. Another negative is the fact that um, the sights are not adjustable. They're kind of fixed sights. So you kind of get, you get what you get. Um, in addition to that, 
I don't like the packaging, but then again, it's a very inexpensive gun, so what do you want? It's just really basic packaging, as you can see here. So if that's all I really have to complain about, it's really not too much. Okay, let's talk about the positives. Number one, this thing is powerful for a CO2 gun. How do we do? Let me refresh your memory a little bit. With the pellets we were shooting, we were shooting the 6.9 lead pellets, and uh, we got a high of 454 feet per second. Not bad. And then when we shot the BBs, we did get a high of 482 uh, feet per second. So it, it's right there as far as their velocity goes, because we could have even used even a little lighter pellet and got um, higher velocity when we were doing the pellet portion. I personally don't like shooting BBs in this. Uh, and, and the reason is, is your accuracy is just lacking because it's going through a rifled barrel. And as I said in the beginning, when a BBs go through a rifled barrel, it puts a funny spin on them. They're much better to go out of a smooth bore. So I have, you have this gun, I would stick with the pellets. It's going to be much more accurate. Another positive thing, it wasn't overly pellet picky. Um, you saw the groups we got. We got about a one-inch group, and I think we were just using some Beemans. They're like a 7-point to, I can't remember, there's seven grain something pellet, but um, those group pretty well, and uh, I tried several different pellets, and they actually all work quite well. Um, another positive thing, this does have an accessory rail, so you don't have adjustable sights, but you do have an accessory rail on here, where then you could add either a laser, or if you want to put a, a ramp on top of this to add some type of sight, you can do it. Uh, another positive thing is the thing, it, this actually comes with three magazines, which is, which is really neat. And probably the number one positive thing on it is the price. This is like 60 bucks. And it's got a decent trigger on it. It's got a safety right here on the side if I didn't cover it. I'll show you real quick. You just take your thumb on here, you push on this, you slide it back, and then it kind of goes up and down if you can capture that. Not my greatest, um, I don't think that's the greatest safety, but as far as working it. But the trigger on this, not bad. Because you got to remember, the triggers on these do dual purpose. They rotate the magazine and they fire the gun. So it's not a horrible trigger. It's a little heavy, but it's very, very, very manageable. And like I said, for 60 bucks, you can't beat it. And look at the power we got out of this. How would I rate this gun? Mm, what's your guess? Based on the price, everything else? Four and a quarter stars. It's getting four and a quarter stars because it's one of the more powerful CO2 pistols. It's got decent accuracy, it's got a manageable trigger, comes with three magazines, and you get the thing for 60 bucks. So, it's not bad. It gets four and a quarter stars. Again, don't forget to check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. Uh, on the site, I will be liquidating occasionally, not often, but occasionally, I'll be throwing an air gun or air rifle up there, and uh, I'll usually only have one of them, so when they're gone, they're gone. Also, if you hadn't, make sure you hit the little subscribe uh, down below. More subscribers, the better. Love your feedback, so thumbs up are always great. So once again, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.